God bless you and welcome back our viewers. We are on Tracing the Mantles and thank you for not touching that dial and staying on Elevate TV, on YouTube, on Facebook, on X, on every social media platform, but also on our Elevate TV station. And we thank God for you, our viewer. Please keep on engaging. I thank God for the people that I can see. They are really on YouTube here we have Asman Davis is saying I'm in and Dege Daniel says I'm tuned in from Addis Ababa uh, God bless you so much and the rest of you that are on Facebook and also writing and SMSing on the numbers that are right there on the screen let's engage engage and at the last 10 minutes of this program we we'll dedicate them to intense and fervent prayer to make sure that these things that we are elucidating here and sharing will be profitable and will be be able to be apprehended by the people who are watching this uh, program consistently even to the body of Christ it will be a message of revival to the body of Christ so man of God we've shared of what defined their calling really the strength encounter with the Jesus Christ of the Bible, mm -hmm. not with another Jesus. Mm -hmm. Now, there's something else that comes up very vividly on tracing the mantles. Mm -hmm. That I, and we, we will go back to the aspect of selflessness and suffering because I sense is a major theme which we have uh, garnered from these people, suffering from, for Christ, not just for anything. But there's uh, another aspect that I have gleaned from tracing the mantles the nature of their call, mm. how they receive the call, how they respond to the call, and how they maintain the call. I don't know what you have gleaned from that. Probably you can begin with Pastor Evans mm. now. The call of God into ministry. Um, what I have picked from our fathers mm. is ability to respond right. Mm. Because God has always been speaking, mm -hmm. and God is still speaking. Yes. Up to this moment. Yes. Um, but we had ability to hear mm. and respond. Mm. God has always been calling. Mm. And even my generation, mm. we cannot purport that we are not hearing the voice. Mm. We can only say we are not maybe willing to listen. I think that's where. Maybe the difference can be. Mm. But what I have perceived from them is the readiness. The readiness. Mm. They were like, you know, Miriam, be it unto me, mm -hmm. according to your word. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think because of the capitalistic nature of our economies and all those stuff, mm. majority of us are interrogating even God. You know, did God, did you, you know, say. say, did God really say, did, mm. you know, we are even interrogating. I think that's where majority of us miss. And bearing in mind, God is a king. Mm. So, okay, he might insist a little bit, mm. but uh, he always has an Abel mm. if a Cain ain't responding. Wonderful. Mm. I think also as you're sharing that, why people keep on interrogating, <laughs> probably I can ask this question. Yes. Is it how probably ministry has been portrayed to be? So people have an aspect of ministry in a way that is not the authentic thing. So that now, when probably the call of God comes upon them, they are quick to visualize ministry in a certain way. And when they see they cannot be able to achieve that kind of picture or painting of ministry, as they perceive with those that have gone ahead of them, they resign to faith and say, probably I'm not called. because. Unlike their times, I think ministry was not a, a grand event or a grand endeavor to engage in. And probably these days we are looking at ministry and we are seeing the screens at the back, the cars, the entourages, you know, the suits, the branches, the names, the titles. We, we are on a transition. Yes. I don't know whether it's to a better place or to a worse one. Mm. But there were days when ministry, truth be said, mm. never looked very good. Lucrative. 
Yeah, yeah it never looked lucrative. Mm. And not very many people are willing. Mm. And up to today, there are some people who still have such hangovers. Mm. When you mention that the Spirit of God is, is released in this meeting and people are receiving anointing and grace to serve God, some brothers open their eyes. Mm. They don't want to receive that thing because mm. they don't want to be called pastors mm. and preachers because they have not... There is no much to desire from, mm. you know, some bait of the preachers. Yes. On the flip side, mm. you've now come onto this other <laughs> flamboyant, you know, dimension of mm. ministry, money and all that, you know, flashy life, mm -hmm. uh, which has also its demerits. Mm -hmm. So we still are learning a lot. Mm -hmm. These ones, our fathers, they came in into ministry whether they lose or they win, their concentration was on Jesus Christ. Mm. If they make it well and good, if they don't, the cross is preached. Mm. So I think, um, so in our day, many are coming on board because we've been able to be, okay, like in the, Luga Yamuta is ministry, Meanza Kujipa. In a jeep, so, mm. <laughs> so a, a number have come in mm. without the readiness to suffer for the gospel yeah. because it looks lucrative. But previously, before this other generation came, is when the pastor was having a bicycle and things were a little bit tough. Mm. His children were, you know, in a hard life, mm. and the professionals almost looked better mm. and you know better placed than you know These the, 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 the ministry. Mm. So it's a transition, and I'm not sure whether there is a booby trap somewhere mm. because um, we should preach the cross. That would be the bottom line. Thank yeah. you for that, Pastor Mark. Yeah. Might it be that the flamboyance we are seeing mm. in ministry, and especially with people who have gone ahead? Mm probably those that we view and we look up to probably. Yeah. And I would say flamboyance in a, a flamboyance in a sparing way, mm. because not everybody is flamboyant. Might it be causing people to last <coughs> after ministry? Yeah. Um, I, I, I agree totally with the, the two things uh, that have come up from what mm. Pastor Evans have said. Mm. And I think in response to your question, mm it's very uncomfortable to admit that that is true. Indeed it is. Mm. Uh, because you see, in those days, the law of elimination had, was working. Mm -hmm. By mm. that I mean, no glamour. Yes. Mm -hmm. So anybody who is looking for success mm. will never even want God to speak to them. Mm. Mm. They will not even <laughs> seek for, me, for, yes. for God to call them. Yes, yes. yes. You know, that, so that's the law of elimination. And so, that means the people who had the call, it was genuine. Mm. Because they knew we are not going into success. Mm -hmm. We don't know what is ahead, mm. like Abraham, mm -hmm. but we go because we have a call. Mm. So nowadays, I think the, 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 the glamour is very, is very loud. Mm, it's pronounced. So many of us young people, we look at the successful ministers mm -hmm. and we begin to, I use your word, to last, mm. to desire. Covet. To covet mm. and you know the 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 sad fact is this in the spiritual realm mm. when you covet something you attract spirits mm -hmm. either good or bad mm. <clears throat> so sometimes someone may think they have been called into ministry mm. and probably they are not called mm -hmm. or maybe they have been called into ministry but in another facet not what we are used to mm. you know nowadays you're talking about marketplace ministry yeah. and all yeah. of that yeah. Um, and then the question is, how comes all of us who are being called, we are always called into successful cities? Mm. <laughs> mm. I know these are very uncomfortable discussions. Mm. Topics, yeah. But we sure. have to talk about them. Yeah. How comes we don't hear people like David Livingstone, mm. William Carey, mm. called Nightingale, mm. Florence Nightingale, mm. called from wealth and prosperity mm. to the to the wilderness of Africa mm, and Asia mm, to take care of the poor. Mm, Why is it that we always call it to... I, I like one of the... Of I like one of the... Uh, yeah. Just to interrupt and interject, yeah. mm. what Reverend Francis shared the other day mm -hmm. on this tracing the mantles. He was saying, when God called him, the people he showed him, mm -hmm. Mm. that he is calling him to go and minister to. Or poor. Yeah. Or poor people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he even asked God. He, he told God, I don't want to preach to these people. <laughs> 
<laughs> who have nothing yeah, but yeah. later on we know he responded to that mm. very call so it, it really agrees with yeah. what we are sharing here yeah and you know sometimes you be even a very good preacher in the villages mm -hmm. then somebody comes and tells you man of god you need <laughs> to be in the city, in the city. Yeah. your voice needs to be heard <laughs> in, the city. in the city you know what is informing these things yeah. pastor mark probably you can continue with your trail of thought i thought you yeah. are going somewhere i just wanted to make reference to philip yes 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 philip goes down to samaria mm. there's great joy in the city yes yes a mega church begins yes at the middle of success mm -hmm. the lord tells him leave the city mm and your mega church mm. go to the wilderness i mean that's how god calls mm -hmm. and uh, if we are not willing to again the matter of sacrifice mm. if you are not willing to walk the life of sacrifice mm. i don't think we can succeed in ministry you know pastor mark what i'm hearing because you, we are now going to a moment of prayer mm. i think we, we we can't exhaust all the questions probably you have another time to discuss this mm. But what I'm hearing, mm -hmm. Pastor Evans, mm -hmm. is that the mantles mm. are still present, yeah. mm -hmm. but we are out of position. Wow. Um, two things. Yes. Um, it's like a lily. Yes. For you to succeed in a lily race, yes. it depends on your ability to run. Mm. But it also heavily depends mm. on the one who is bringing the baton. Mm. So it's immoral for lack of a better word mm. to talk about fathers. Mm. Uh, when you are a child or a son. Mm. Mm. But uh, why we are not able to take the mantles right? Mm. They are here. They are here. Kenya is very genuine and authentic. Good man. Spiritual mantles, yeah. Just, Very nice ones. Mm. So why we are not able to perceive mm. and automatically we are not able to receive mm. is because of two things. Mm -hmm. One is the one who is bringing the baton. Mm -hmm. That I want to lower my voice because I'm addressing <laughs> yeah. the fathers. Yeah. You know the story of Mephibosheth mm. who was crippled both hands mm -hmm. and, and, you know, the legs. Oh, but it was... In, in Rodi, but he was yeah. living in a place mm. of no network. Mm. Yeah. But Jonathan did not give birth to a crippled child. Mm. It is the house help mm. who handled the boy when there was a war, mm. who dropped him and he broke both his legs Koya and Bambu hands. Tabas, yeah. And so he lived crippled. Not because, not because, you know, Jonathan gave birth to a cripple. Mm. Mm. So the mantles have not been passed over to some quarters mm. nicely. Mm. You know, anytime God gives a man... The batons uh, have been dropped. Yeah, they have been dropped. Or they have been brought at a very, mm. you know, late time. Mm. Late time, out like... Out of season. Yeah, out of season. Mm. So you find you are not able to. We don't look like we are really operating with the mantles. Mm. Because the one who was supposed to bring them, mm. you know, did not... Pass them pass, on. Pass them on mm. well. The other dimension is the ones who are receiving the baton. Mm. Some of us are receiving, you know, in a relay, mm. there is this memes of like a small baby in a race. Mm. He picks the baton. Mm. But instead of running this, you know, he runs backwards. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So I, th <laughs> I think uh, we have an issue of very genuine fathers mm. who are passing on very genuine mantles. Mm. But, you know, the sad bit is the sons who pick mm. the baton. Mm. They even come to fight over even physical resources mm. that were supposed to advance the gospel. Mm. And you see zero, uh, you know, degree of correlation yeah. between what the fathers saw mm. and what now the sons are doing. Mm. So like when we feel studious mm. and we are doing that, yeah. that mantle to feel steady is still in Kenya. Mm. But when they gather and they are full in the stadium, what are we giving them? Mm. That's where now the baton falls, because mm. the mantle to someone is still there. Mm. So we need to really ask ourselves as sons, mm. do you have the authentic? Mm. So maybe some fathers dropped mm. the baton before it came to us, mm. or they brought it too late. Mm. And the other now, why the mantles, the mantles are there, but why they are, may not be manifesting as we hear the stories with fathers, mm. because sometimes we pick them and drop them. And, and why, why I believe the program Tracing the Mantles is very important mm. is because it's bridging the gap. I think in one way or another, it's operating under the spirit of Elijah. Mm. 
what what we have not perceived our generation mm -hmm. or seen tracing the mantles is amplifying it mm. so that we can be able to behold it yeah so as to position ourselves to be able to receive to, to it receive. And, yes. and and sorry i i really need to interject yes. on yes. that interject. because yes. pastor Evans is touching on things that are so sensitive mm. and important mm. because um i see two things mm. something went wrong in our nation mm. Um, I'm not an expert, I don't want to, to speculate. Yeah. But there was a disconnect of generations. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that is why this program is so important. Even the wording, mm -hmm. tracing. Mm. You see, he's saying the, the, the mantle has to be passed on. Mm. But now God has raised, uh, raised uh, this program to trace mm. because it was not passed on. Mm. So what went wrong? Mm. Mm -hmm. Why are we tracing? Because yeah, that's yeah. what we are doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think there was a disconnect of generations. Mm -hmm. And as we begin, continue to, to do this program, particularly mm -hmm. when we come to talk uh, uh, to fathers of the next generation, mm -hmm. because we are talking to the fathers of the eight, 80 years mm -hmm. and, and, and mm -hmm. so forth. Mm -hmm. But then the fathers here are intermediate at, mm -hmm. at the middle. Mm -hmm. I think we'll begin to get certain wisdom mm. to know what went wrong mm. Mm. so that generations were disconnected yeah, yeah yeah then another problem that came is that we began to celebrate fathers of other regions territories and nations mm -hmm. we didn't even know who our fathers are jesus so we lost the mantle we lost the DNA, yeah. we lost so, the so, virtue. So we are now coming back again. Mm. Who are our fathers? And some of these people are being brought here. We, you know, we are listening to them and saying, you mean you had this man in this nation? Yeah, yeah. We didn't know. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And so, yeah. So, <clears throat> Pastor Mark and Pastor Evans, mm. we, we are going to pray, and I want us to get into a moment of prayer, and also our viewers mm. would want to pray, because we believe as we respond to these matters, as we converse, Heavens mm -hmm. are recording, mm -hmm. and God is noting it. Yeah. And I believe our hearts are also being opened mm -hmm. to begin to receive these things that we so eagerly desire, because the Bible says we pursue them, we desire them earnestly yeah. to partake of them, because these are our tools for the work of the ministry. Mm -hmm. What are here, yeah. mm -hmm. Pastor Evans and uh, uh, Pastor Mark, mm -hmm. as we get into prayer, is that the mantles are there when mm -hmm. we listen to these men. Mm -hmm the uh, Reverend Francis yeah. mm -hmm. and the other uh, preachers from the Ma region, yeah. when they were sharing, we can sense Kenya, we have something authentic. And it's wonderful that even globally we are, we are branded with the Ma community. Mm -hmm. And we can see the richness of the gospel yeah. even from the Ma community. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. What I sense for me personally went wrong. Mm -hmm. Probably you can tell me whether I'm out of line or not. But what I have been sensing yeah. from your story, talking about selflessness, talking about the authenticity of encounter, conversion, and all these things, yeah. we might be looking for mantles that are available, but we are not where they are mm. in our spiritual positioning. Mm -hmm. The environment of our mind, our heart, our pursuits, our desires mm. are not where they were. Mm -hmm. And so they are in a certain trajectory mm. in pursuit of Christ, True. which we are not in. So we are looking for things they handled, but they are located different places mm. than where we are right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so we need to shift mm -hmm. the mind of the church, mm -hmm. the mind of the preacher, the mind of the people of God mm. back to align yeah. with what they were aligning themselves with. Mm -hmm. So that that which they carried can fall on us. Amen. And I think that's a prayer we need to make mm -hmm. as we continue on. Mm -hmm. So this is what we'll do. Just get into a moment of prayer. Yeah, yeah. You that is back at home. Mm -hmm. And then I would ask Pastor Evans to uh, just uh, enter into prayer. Mm -hmm. And then Pastor Mark will close this program mm -hmm. in a moment of prayer in mm -hmm. Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. Let's get into prayer. Somebody, oh, wherever you are, Shalala. Rezika, let us the Lord Thank to you, Lord. realign us. Sina the spirit of our mind, our heart, our pursuit, and our pursuits in this life in Jesus. 
his mighty name. Rikaya Rabasua Rabakano. Father, we repent father for straying away. How mercy on us. Rikaya Rabasua Rabakano. Rikaya Rabasua Rabakano. Rikaya Rabasua Rabakano. You are a father, Kaya Zitora Nikane, Adadashula, Rebo, Samira, Kaya Rada, Adadashalaba, Kirio Masi, Locators, Rekira, Locators, Bayo Masi, we desire, we desire, O Lord, the things we've had, you did with your forefathers, yes, do it in our day, Shatamana, Manana, Shaleba, Kandaba. Reveal yourself in our day to the passions of Christ. Would you not revive us again, Lord? That we may take pleasure in your things one more time. Oh, for your mercy for to renew our hearts, to Welcome, Father, we thank you. Yes, Lord. Father, we glorify you. Yes, Jesus. You are the God of our fathers. Mm. Oh Lord, and we honor you. Yes, Lord. The things we've heard they mm. did mm. lord the scripture says you are the god who is yes who was Shaka. and is to come yes lord you never changes oh god mm. and you are the god that is at work with us this day mm. we give you glory mm. oh we worship you oh lord mm. would you not restore us one more time restore us. that lord you may take pleasure in your matters mm. i pray lord for the generation we are in mm. that lord by the help of your spirit mm. will be able to perceive your work Yes. and the divine mantles yes, Lord. that Lord you've released on our nation Kenya yes, Lord. for the purposes of your work in this land mm. and even to spread the fragrance to the last part of the world yes, Lord. Lord we pray mm. for a genuine restoration yes, Lord. we repent Lord, yes, Lord where Lord we are on a different lane mm. from where you are oh God restore us Abba Father scripture says salvation belongs unto our God yes, Lord. you said you build your church mm. upon the rock and the gates of hell mm. shall not prevail against it. Mm. The church is entirely yours Kaya and Rabba. we are yours, O oh God. Mm. For your name's sake, O oh God, yes. cause a restoration. Mm. Heal us where we are we, uh, bleeding. Mm. Forgive us where our sins are too clear, O oh God. Mm. Heal us, Abba Father. Yes, Let your masses be activated yes, upon our lives, O oh God, Kaya that we may carry it one more time. Yes, Scripture Lord. says it's one generation mm. that teaches another Mm. the ways of God, O oh Lord, yes, Lord, arise in our day mm. that the generation that is coming after us, yes, Lord. the Gen Z's and the rest, O oh God, yes, Lord. will have something to receive mm. from our day in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, permit there to be a connection Kaya between Basho. the move that you've carried all along Kiro. because you are an eternal God Kiso. and your purposes are always eternal. Kiro. Be glorified, Kiro. God, Kiro. as you help us. Bazia. In Jesus', name, in Jesus oh mighty name, Pastor Mark can we just have come from in. our fathers the yes. work that you did in their day. Yes, Lord. And we are in that position of David. Come yes, Lord. Jesus. After saying Shalem. that, he said, Shalem. Lord, why is it mm. that we not see your works? Shalem. And Lord, we are praying, Lord, that you revive your works. Shalem. We know that we are in the verge of a move. Shalem. Lord, you are visiting this nation again. Shalem. You have visited this nation many times, mm. many generations. Yes, Lord. We know that there are times when you moved and we missed. Mm. Now this is the, our generation. Mm. And we can hear the stirring of the waters. Yes, Lord. We can hear the wind in the mm. room. Yes, Lord. We can sense the fire that is descending. Yes, Lord. Lord, we pray. Mm. Position us accurately. Yes, Lord. We pray, God, that you will teach us mm. the right posture. Yes, Lord. The right posture. Mm. And Lord, even as 
the young generation, the generation of sons. Yes, Lord. We humble ourselves. Mm. We come down from our towers, mm. from our pinnacles. Yes. From our perceptions of ministry and success. We come down. And Lord, we want to hear the voice of our fathers. Mm. And Lord, we pray that you're going to quicken our hearing. Yes, Lord. That as we hear, we shall be positioned accurately so that we carry the pure mantle and the mantles that you ordained for this nation. Yes, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the men you have raised all over the world. Mm. But God, we know there are mantles that are for this nation. We pray that these mantles will not die, mm. but we shall pick them up. Yes. Lord, teach us how. Mm. Teach us how. Yes. And Lord, we pray for Pastor Sunta. Yes, Lord. Pray for this program. Yes, Lord, Lord Jesus. Strengthen her. Mm. Make this sound mighty. Mm that it's going to be a summoning of generation mm. into a conversation. Mm. And that in this conversation, the hearts of the fathers will be turned to the sons mm. and the sons to the fathers, so that, Lord, you will not strike the land with a curse. Yes. But, Father, we shall see the visitation Shara of your very Lord. grace and glory. Yes, Lord. We thank you for this opportunity. And, Lord, we bless the viewers. And we ask that this word is going to uh, reverberate in their hearts. Yes. Lord, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We thank God. Hallelujah. Amen. We bless the holy name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yeah. We wish to believe that where you're listening from, something is being stirred up in your spirit. Pastor Mark, when I was thinking about tracing the mantles, mm -hmm. one of the things that came to my mind, the pictures, yeah. was Mary... Magdalene, mm. going back yes. to the tomb wow. to see Jesus. Mm -hmm. wow. The body that they had laid yeah. in the tomb yeah. to dress it. Yeah. And I believe Pastor Sunta is like that likeness yeah. of that woman <clears throat> who is going to see where the mantles were buried. Mm. Yeah. But as she goes, mm. she meets the stone is rolled away. Mm. Yeah. And the one she was going to seek for mm. inside the tomb is now resurrected. Mm. It's only those that trace the moves of God in the past mm. that have the privilege to encounter mm. the new moves mm. of God. Yeah. And I pray that through this tracing the mantles, you and I, our ardent viewer and those that are watching this even for the first time and everyone that is really pursuing these matters will not only discover or rediscover mm. previous moves of God and anointings, yes. but also God will pour upon us fresh oil mm. to administer grace to our generation. Yeah. So Maureen, Derika, Perry, Wamboi, Gashoki, KS, Minister Patrick Wambogo, Neema Grace and the rest of us that have been together with us. Mm. God bless you. It's Amen. from Elevate TV and may we see you next week. Shalom. Amen. Shalom. Amen. Shalom. Amen. 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 Glory to Jesus.